Hello and welcome back to the Pasta Podcast, where we talk about nothing but pasta. Today, we will not be talking about pasta. Today, we will be discussing who we believe uh, we have a chance with, actor-wise. I am a pasta chef, Gigi, and you are also a pasta chef. <laughs> What's your name? Duolingo Master. Sorry, I'm very... um. This is take two. I'm very angry, but I'm trying. I'm trying to. I'm trying to write it out. That's okay. We're only like seven minutes in. Um, so we know what we're doing now. So do you want to start us off with this list of actors you have a ch- chance with? Yeah. Um, so the way I was going about this is that I kind of made this list of actors not necessarily on like how attractive they are or how attracted they are to me. I just think that these actors would be able to stoop to my level. Um, So that's kind of what I got going here. Um, And the first actor I have on my list is Joseph Gordon-Levitt. He's in, I've only seen him in two movies. And those two movies are 10 Things I Hate About You and um, The Dark Knight Rises which are very, very vastly different movies. But in both, (laughs) in The Dark Knight, the movie before, and in 10 Things I Hate About You, um, the the guy, um, Heath, Keith, Heath, (laughs) Heath Ledger is in both of those. (laughs) So we do have Heath. We do have a theme with Heath Keith Ledger. Um, But I mostly think that I could get with Joseph Gordon-Levitt, not because I'm attracted to him, not because I think he's a nice guy. Um, I actually don't think he's a nice guy, and I don't think he's um, attractive. And I also, like, don't think he's a very good actor. But if I, like, brushed by him on the street or something... I feel like he could definitely be like, oh, oh, yeah. A valid, a valid argument, I think. Um, Yeah, I think that you have a, I have a chance with them. I don't know who that is, so I already (laughs) forgot his name. But I think you have a chance with them based on your argument. Weirdly enough, Um, he was just the first guy that popped into my head. I don't know why. (laughs) <laughs> I just can't think of many American actors right now. So that was the first guy who popped into my head. Yeah. Okay. Well, I know that we'll both know who this is. Um, I put this man on the list because of my age, actually. Leonardo DiCaprio. I still got five good years before he like puts me to the side. Um do I think I have a chance with him? I think that he's desperate for any young person and people are just getting older. Um, so I think he would stoop to my level for five years and then, and then he'll move on. Wow. That is bold. Um, Leonardo DiCaprio. Yeah. Um, now, now that we're on the set, on the, Topic of talking about men who are way older than us. I have a couple more ideas to add to the list. Um, (laughs) But, I mean, yeah. I mean, I feel like you have to have, like, a good, like, I feel like you have to be, like, I don't know. I guess you probably don't need much. You probably just need to be young. Yeah. Plus, I've got, like, a... I've got like a baby face. I've got like a round face. So I think that's what I think that's what he's been aiming for all these years. I don't think he wants to admit it for obvious reasons, but I think that's what he wants. Um, so yeah, I think yeah, I think Leonardo DiCaprio is probably <laughs> <laughs> a little big of a a little bold of a decision to make. But honestly, I have bolder ones on here. So. Hey, listen, we said this wasn't about attractiveness, so <laughs> imagining that we're both the same level of attractiveness, this could work. Yeah, true. For five years. <laughs> All right. Shall we move on to my next one? Your next one? one? Yeah. Um, sorry. I just took lavender out of my doll. Um. My next one comes as a set, but I'm going to name them both individually. 
Um, and I think you know what the set is. Owen Wilson. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and actually, it's not the set that you think it's going to be. But the first one is Owen Wilson. Um, I love Owen Wilson. Um, I don't think he's a bad guy, necessarily. But I do think if I was an attractive person, that maybe he would be in interested in me because I'm funny sometimes. <laughs> people like that about a woman. No, let me let me tell you how it would go. You would walk past him at like some kind of an event, and he would he would like watch you walk past him. And you know how in movies when somebody like walk pa walks past and somebody that's interested in that person like. Uh, like watches them walk away he would watch you walk away and he would go wow <laughs> no no it would... and then he would go up to you <laughs> no it would be one of those rom-com stories where they hate each other at first but then they slowly fall in love because they uh like the company <laughs> like the company yeah they like having the company they like being lonely. in company of each other you think owen wilson is lonely <laughs> <laughs> I think I think Owen Wilson would love me. I'm pretty sure he would. I feel like I could change him. <laughs> I could fix him. But yeah, I I totally think that I have it. I mean, at least if I don't have it going for Owen for Owen Wilson, I might have it going for this next one. But you go first. So for my next one, and I should say. I put people on this list that I think I also have a ch chance with, like, friendship-wise. So my next one is Nicolas Cage. And I think I would be besties with him because I'm younger and he would have no idea what I'm saying half the time. And he's Nicolas Cage, so I would n have no idea what he's saying most of the time. Because you know, you know how sometimes in movies it just feels like he's just being himself, and it's like, where the hell, who who created this person? You know, that's that's how I'd feel. But I think you would like me. Um, I I really don't think so. <laughs> I don't think you have a chance of what the hell. I don't think you do. I think he's such a bold character, and he's so out there, and he's so like strange that you're not strange enough for him. What? No, <laughs> everybody needs a friend to balance themselves out. You're an extrovert, and I'm an introvert. That's exactly how it should be. Best friends are opposites no, of each other. I get he that. is so eccentric and out there, and I am not. But I would be behind the scenes being like, yes, I have no idea what you're saying, but yes. No, but you, you're you not getting what I'm saying. I no, I, I completely agree that um, opposites attract. Um, whereas I don't think that an opposite attracts with an opposite. You know what I mean? Like, you guys are both just very... <laughs> It's just too different. <laughs> that's not okay. Maybe I'm that's wrong. That's not how that works. Maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> you guys both have that same hair color. You can bond. No, we that. don't. <laughs> he kind of. Does. He doesn't have. No, he doesn't. I have the poster on my ceiling. He does not have. He dyes his hair too. Hair. You could have the same hair color. <laughs> <laughs> Who gives a shit? <laughs> you guys could bond over that. No, I think hey, uh, Gigi, I think I like your best hair friends. Color. I think Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. He would talk like that and I would be like, You're so funny, and he would really love the fact that I just ego boost him all the time. <clears throat> that's what I think would happen. Not because he's like a narcissist or anything, hey. but because he'd be like, Nobody does that to I'm me. just playing devil's advocate here. But sure. You didn't do that with Leonardo DiCaprio, but you're choosing that for Nicolas Cage. I tried to add depth to this the is conversation. Because if we just okay. agree with each other on every one of them, then it's not going to be interesting. <laughs> you're going you're gonna to say like a really hot guy next time, and I'm going to be like, yes. And then you're going to say somebody I think is ugly, and I'm going to be like, no, I don't think you have a chance with them, just <laughs> to piss you off. <laughs> hey. Jealousy is a disease, and I hope you get well soon. <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm real jealous of you being able to get with uh, Owen Wilson. I would be. Very jealous. I'm jealous of anybody who can get with Owen Wilson. Of course you would be. You just said you <laughs> thought you had a chance with him. <laughs> I'm not saying I have a chance with him. I'm just saying I think I do. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. Well, speaking of Owen Wilson. Oh, yeah. The pair. Um, Luke Wilson. His brother. Who the goddamn hell is that? You don't know who Luke Wilson is? Well, now I know The main his character in Legally Blonde. He's in the in the never seen it. The Royal Tenenbaums in one of the Wes Anderson movies. He's never seen it. He's he's okay. Well, change your perspective and see it. <laughs> he's a great guy. Well, I can't do that now. Hold on, let me pause the pasta podcast so I can watch two movies. <laughs> this podcast is gonna be eighty percent of me and Gigi fighting. <laughs> okay, um, you think you think that that's. You think that that's not normal? <laughs> the next... The, the reason I think I have a chance with Luke Wilson is because he's a lot tamer than Owen Wilson. He's a little quieter, but he's still got the same mindset as him. So I'm like, if I can win over Owen Wilson, no way I can't win over Luke Wilson. So I'm kind of saying, like, if I don't get one, then I'm not getting either. But if I get one, then I get both. I just looked him up. He looks exactly the same as Owen Wilson. Are they like twins? I know. No, there's a scene in Legally Blonde where where he's talking to Elle and he goes, hey, how do you think I'd look as a blonde? And I was like, yo, your brother. This is, this is a rizzed out version of Owen Wilson. I'm just going to say that right now. His cheekbones are unreal. You're not going to be able to see it, I don't think. <laughs> it's okay. Just trust me on this. I know he is. I've seen him. Um, yeah. Um, anyways, I looked through his movies. I have never seen anything that he's in, I don't think. I, but I recommend him. I think he's a pretty good actor. He's kind of the same as Owen Wilson. Um, he does the same kind of movies Owen Wilson does. What? He says wow a lot? No. Oh. Well, I don't. I don't think I would want a chance with him. Then. <laughs> That's a deal breaker for me. I'm really sorry. But I'm saying it comes as a bundle. So, like, if I can't get Owen Wilson, then I'm not getting Luke Wilson. But if I can get Owen Wilson, then I'm also getting Luke Wilson. You know, like it's both or nothing. I, I think that you're forgetting the fact that I. I don't think if you, <laughs> I don't think that if you had like. Owen Wilson or Luke Wilson, the other would want to ever date you because that would be like weird and incestuous in a way. I'm not saying like, if they you were ever date like... each other. I'm saying one at a time, you know, train. Well, that's still if you guys got married, like if you got married to one of them, that that would be their sister in law. That's weird. Hey, I'm not get... We're just talking about who we think we might have a chance with. No marriage involved. Just a little, just a little uh, <laughs> kiss on the cheek, maybe a brush against the lip. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot to put Freddy Fazbear on here. <laughs> He's an actor. <laughs> I guess he is in a movie. Her, 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 her. All right, you her, turn her, next. Her, her. All right. Well, I think this one's going to come as no surprise. And this is another, like, friendship one. Um, Jenna Coleman. Because she would be my best friend, and I know it for a fact, because Tauruses and Cancers are actually, like, besties or, like, soulmates. So that means at very least we would be, like, best friends. Um, and also, I've seen a lot of things that she's in, and also, I feel like she would be like, you're a little insane, but that's okay. <laughs> um, also, she's, like, very nice when she talks to her fans. So I feel like, I feel like she would, like, give me a chance before being, like, like, she would probably be thinking, this person's insane, I should stay away from her. But then, outwardly, she would be like, hi, how are you, you know? <laughs> Um, I think we'd be best friends. Jenna Coleman, give me a chance. <laughs> um, wow, 
bold um sure why not i think so um i don't see why not <laughs> I think, yeah <laughs> yeah i think that if you you know if you saw her at a table and you were like let me buy you a drink and she's like oh no thank you and you were like no please and then you buy her a glass of milk i think that would be really funny and she'd be like oh yeah <laughs> No, I'd be like, can I buy you a drink? And she would be like, um, I'm drinking something. And I would be like, here is some water. And then she'll be like, what, what the hell? And I'll be like, oh, I'm 20. I can't order alcohol. <laughs> no, again, then you look at the uh, bartender. You're like, a lemon drop for the lady, please. Or no, no like a, a, a slice of lemon, please. A lemon slice for the lady. A lemon please. slice, please. <laughs> Do you have any orange peels back there? Do you have any lemon zest that you could rim our glass with? <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then you look at her and you go, no, it's on me. I <laughs> it's on me. It's on me. They serve water for free here. I meant the lemon slice. <laughs> That's also free. <laughs> and maybe a shot of iced tea, please. <laughs> on me as well. You know, $3 put it worth on of iced tea. tea. That's crazy. Put, I don't know if I would spend three dollars. Put the iced tea on my tab, please. <laughs> <laughs> Instantly. Anyway. Over. <laughs> I think that's decided. I would have a total chance. Oh yeah. It. All right, you and we would be besties for life, and I would kick you out of the friend group. No, I would be in the threesome. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Um gonna have to look up Taurus Sagittarius compatibility. I think it is I think it is actually because I had a friend that was a Taurus and she is still a friend sort of. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well moving. Um all right. Uh, okay, you said a bold answer, I'm saying a bold answer. Um I feel like you know I'm very similar in age to this guy. I feel like if we went to church together, maybe not church, maybe like if we... <laughs> I don't want to go to church, I don't like church, um, bad memories of church. Um, maybe if we went to a mosque together, which is also kind of a church, but it's not a church, it's a mosque. And if we, and if I was like, hey, Timothy Chalamet. Would you want to go praying at the mosque with me? <laughs> Olivia, you know how earlier I said that if you said a really hot person, I would say yes. But if you said a really ugly person that I thought was ugly, I would say no. You do not have a chance. <laughs> do you seriously think he's ugly? Yeah, I'm, I mean, he's not like, un I don't think he's like ugly. I think that he's unattractive. It's two different things for me. Because, like, I don't think he's, like, a bad person. Ugly is, like, everything is ugly. But I think that he is just, generally, his aesthetics are a little off. I get that. He is very Tim Burton-y in the face. But, um... Yeah. I will say, he, he actually is well cast to play a young Walker. Whether we like it or not. I think so, too. I actually want to see that movie and nobody can change my mind. Um. Yes. But, I, um... You know, initially, when I, f I remember when I first saw Timothy Chalamet, I immediately thought, oh boy, another white boy that uh, Twitter and Instagram are thirsting over. Um, but he's not any other white boy. This white boy, he speaks French. <laughs> he's also... He's not, he's not like other white boys. He speaks another white person language. Um, so it's He speaks different. a colonizer language, but... It's okay because he is actually Two. French. Yeah. Um Two. <laughs> we already know one. Um but you know, he is a he is a good actor. He he's I've not seen him play a bad role in a movie yet. And I think he's got this charisma about him that makes him attractive, you know? Um and there's a couple more people on my list. Actually on a different list, but I think they still have that going for them. 
and I will mention who they are later on once yeah. we get to them. You know, you know what I just pieced together, and I'm not even joking. Um, I didn't realize that he was French. I knew his name was French, but I didn't realize that he was French. <laughs> didn't put two and two together with that one. <laughs> <laughs> well he never lived in france he just kind of like i think his dad spoke it and so he knew it like he spoke yeah, it with his like family it, it's like if somebody had like a very obvious russian last name and you just didn't know that they were from russia or something well i'm not from russia yeah moving like... on <laughs> <laughs> anyways anyways <laughs> um so so this one another a lot of these are just friendship ones because like i'm not very attracted to anybody <laughs> ever um but hugh lori and and i gotta say he is one of the only male brits that i would be friends with um and i feel like i would specifically be like um can you use the american accent that you used in house when you talk to me because i don't want to hear your british accent or i would be like because in the house he has like a scene where he pretends to be british so he does a fake fake british accent where he's like talking awful and i don't know how people do that um but i would i feel like i feel like he would he's a little quirky i don't know if you've ever seen his tweets but he like he will say nonsensical things and then leave for three months and then he'll come back and he'll say another nonsensical thing um, I'm, you know that John Mulaney stand up where um, he's talking about the the man that he used to work with who said that um, he would say something like perhaps I did I did quack but such is life for an old knickerbacker like me um, that's kind of how he tweets <laughs> um, I think that uh, I mean he was in the movie Stuart Little. There was that. So sure. Um, yeah. He's got... He was... He's got... You looking him up. Yeah. <laughs> um, he knows some instruments. <laughs> um... I don't know much about him. I've never. I don't remember watching him at anything. I know that he's in house because you watch that. Um, he yeah. just reminds me of a grandfather I wouldn't like. Um, <laughs> I'm not saying that I don't think you don't have a chance with him because sure, but he just reminds me of that one grandfather that you dread seeing every time on Christmas. Okay, well, I think it depends because. Because there's a difference between Hugh Laurie. Hugh Laurie with a beard or a little bit of stubble. Good Hugh Laurie. Hugh Laurie with no beard? Bad. Bad? Leave it alone. Stop it. If I was, if I like ever had a chance with him for friendship wise, it would be when he has stubble because I would not want to be friends with him if he didn't. He, he It's a total vibe change and I don't like it. <laughs> He shaved for like one season of House and it was awful. I dread that season. It's the worst thing I've ever seen. Because he's like, oh, I'm clean now. I'm off of Vicodin. And you're like, shut up. Go back on it. Stop it. You're muted. <laughs> I do get what you mean of like, people need, uh, people need ha hair on their face to get a certain vibe to them because i i get it i do get it you need a certain vibe to you for hair on your face um but i do think that yeah well, <laughs> yeah you get it yeah. i feel like it's weird because i usually don't like facial hair on men but for some men it's like you need facial hair i'm sorry you do I get it. No, I get it. That's how I thought about, um, that's how I feel about Ron Beersing. Uh, if he doesn't have facial hair, he looks like a baby and I don't like it. <laughs> it makes me nervous. Yeah. <laughs> it makes me feel like he's about to like do something to me. Um, not yeah. Good. Um, 
Yeah. <laughs> the next person I have on this list is uh, Jack Black. Um, Jacketh Black. <laughs> <laughs> Jackethy Blackethy. Um <laughs> but Janthony Blackety. Um I feel like there's enough said with that. Yeah. I feel like yeah. you guys I'm I'm gonna like not even playing devil's advocate, going completely on your side, you guys would have the exact same vibe and you guys would bond over that. Mm. You guys have the exact I feel you like would your brother would energy. actually be best friends with him too. You guys would feed off of each other's energy and it would be like it would be like when you and I hang out for too long, how we feed off of each other's energy and we just get so tired and chaotic <laughs> that eventually we forget everything that we're talking about. Um, but we're still like like high off of each other. That's kinda how it would be. You guys would be high off of each other and everybody else around you would be like, What the hell are they doing? Yeah. I feel like yeah, I feel like we would match each other's vibe. Um and yeah, that's yeah. that's all I have to say about that because that's I don't I literally think that that's enough said. Yeah, enough said. I feel like I feel like I would not be able to be friends with him though. <laughs> I don't think I have a chance because I would not be able to keep up. I can barely keep up with you. <laughs> <laughs> all right, what, what's your next one? Um, yet another old man. Oh, Dilf. <laughs> Yet another yes, uh, should have worn the Dilf Awards, um, but this one strictly I see him as a grandfather to me, but like a friendly grandpa, you know the grandpa that you'd prefer to come to Thanksgiving, that grandpa, um, Peter Capaldi, um, he he is my best, he is my best friend, he is my best, he is my adopted grandfather, and I. I just love him and I cherish him and I never want anything bad to happen to him. And he's just a very sweet man. He's very sweet. He's your bestie. He is my bestie. And I think he would be like, Oh, you're, you're so, you're so nice and you're so young or something like that. You know how old people talk sometimes. I feel like he would be like, um, like at a meet and greet or something. I feel like he'd be like, Oh, I'm I'm so inspired by you or something. He would say something like that. And then I would be like, can we be best friends? And he would be like, yeah, <laughs> even if we're not like, then he would just say yes. You'd be like, and then I would be able to say Peter Capaldi is my best friend. You would tweet it. Update. I would tweet it. No, I would put it in my bio. I would, I would delete everything else in my bio. I would be like, Peter Capaldi told me he, he's now my best friend. So parentheses real. <laughs> um yeah i feel like i don't know his personality very well but um i feel like, i feel like if you walked up to him and accidentally like tripped he would like he would apologize to you you know like he would be like yeah. i'm sorry i was in the way <laughs> you know yeah i feel like he, he would be like are you all right some guy right yeah, um, there's this there's this clip of him and in the Peter Capaldi fans universe. Um, <laughs> um, I don't know what they call themselves. P-cappers. Yeah, but I don't know what the fans are P-cappers. called. Anyways, <laughs> capitalists. I bet that actually is it. <laughs> capitalists. <laughs> Short material. Olivier gives name to the Peter Capaldi fans. <laughs> Anyways, there's this clip of him on like their like in little little fan base of him asking, "What is Dab?" And that is exactly the sum of how you how you need to view him. Is he's an old man that doesn't know anything, but he is so innocent and beautiful and <clears throat> awesome. He's and innocent. that's all I have to say. No more notes. <laughs> He's innocent and beautiful. <laughs> he is my He's baby girl. He's innocent and beautiful and awesome. <laughs> He's my baby girl. IBA. Innocent, beautiful, awesome. Um I think I want to skip my next one because I don't like it. Um oh, okay. <laughs> sorry. Um No, it's okay. But I'm gonna do the one after it. Um, 
this is a bold one. Um, Matthew Lillard. I feel like. I feel like we could like, he he is like a completely like wholesome and like just like clueless dude like i saw a video of him like he wanted to talk about the five nights at freddy's movie but he was like i don't know if i'm allowed to because of the actor's strike so the movie that i'm in i really appreciate you guys <laughs> he was like making the fans for it without even mentioning the movie and he was and he was like pacing around his house and i'm like oh my god i get you <laughs> Clu clueless old man type of energy <laughs> like he's just like i feel like he's the kind of guy who you would log into club penguin with and stay on it with for hours and you would like help decorate each other's igloos yeah i would do that um and then he would like sit down at a pizza place um and somebody would sit down next to him and he wouldn't know what was going on and then they would be like heart and he would be like Heart, and then he'd end up dating somebody without knowing it. Yeah, Club Penguin. That's how I feel like what's go down. That's how Club Penguin relationships yeah. are. <laughs> um, Confirmed by me. Yeah, I feel like you definitely, you definitely have a chance with him. I feel like he's a very, um, I feel like he would just be like, you're, you're very nice. <laughs> <laughs> you're very nice. I don't know. How, I don't know what people say to their fans. We don't have any fans. <laughs> Sorry, I do know what I say. I say thank you for being a fellow pasta lover. <laughs> That's what I say. Um, yeah. You know, I, I, I'm I going to cut this out, but my brother commented on one of our videos after we listened and was like, um, I said, tell us how your mom's doing. And my brother commented, my mom's dying from coughing, but th so thanks. Um, and I just replied with like the uh, bot and said, thank you for being a fellow pasta lover. Man, I got to see that. <laughs> I don't remember which Force episode it is. I should look. In the meantime, you <laughs> talk about your next one. Okay. Um so my next one. A very a very big big person, big actress. Um and by big actress I mean she's been in one or two films. But she is a very big celebrity. And that is Taylor Swift. And before you say anything, I need I remind you that she is a Sagittarius and Cancers and Sagittarius is our besties, according to our relationship. So that's all the proof you need. She would be best friends with me. So if you disagree, say no within the next two seconds. That's what I thought. <laughs> no, you missed it. You missed it. Sorry, you missed it. I'm going to edit it so that you missed it in case no. you didn't miss it. Oh my god, I can't believe I'm being... I can't believe... What? <laughs> I do not think... I think that Taylor Swift is the boldest thing you've said all day. Um, honestly, <laughs> I don't think anyone has a chance with her. I think she chooses not even the guy that she's dating no she chooses <laughs> he got lucky he asked her out and she said yes he got lucky she never does that she asked them out first i think i feel like she yeah but but riddle me this riddle me this suppose i was concussed and i put this down would you would you be like that's okay for you to think that you have a chance if I was concussed. Uh -huh. Because I may be. <laughs> I haven't kept up to date with my doctors in like two years, so I might have been concussed the last two years. I don't think you've been concussed. But... How do you explain some of my recent behavior? <laughs> Gigi, that's not concussions. You just, you're just a little crazy sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> You don't have a concussion. That's what I'm gonna say if I get, that's what I'm gonna say if I ever actually do get a concussion to my doctor. So they're gonna be like, hey, you have a concussion, don't sleep for a couple hours. And I'm gonna be like, No, I'm just a little crazy sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> they're gonna be like, You are literally trying to eat a hat right now. Can you calm down? <laughs> Is this what concussed people do? Um I don't know. Gigi only has I was thinking about the concussion that. stuff. <laughs> 
What I I'm sure I've had a concussion before. I think you would know. I've been in a coma before. I don't think that I. I don't I feel like you would, Olivia. Yeah, of course I would know, but I probably wouldn't remember. <laughs> Says who? I knew a guy who had a concussion, and he wore colored glasses. I know to a school. guy, and he wore colored glasses. You're like you. Yeah. Hey. I knew a guy who had a concussion who wore colored glasses to school and we all made fun of him and called them his cool guy glasses. <laughs> Actually, I was the only one who called him that. <laughs> <laughs> but he did laugh at it. He did think it was funny. Okay. Well, anyways, um, I still think I have a chance with her. Concussion or not? <laughs> um, I think if you break no, I feel like me. I feel like if she, I feel like if I had like a meet and greet with her or something, um, if I like mentioned anything about my life, she would be like, "I'm so sorry," and then I would be like, "If you're sorry, then be my best friend," and I would manipulate her, and then later down the line, I would be like, you know. I manipulated you in order to she would be like, in order to be your friend. No, and then she would start singing weird. Mastermind. No, she would start singing Mastermind because that's what I did. But for friendship. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 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 we move on. <laughs> okay. Um, I think my next one, this is my second to last one, by the way. Um, okay, good. I think... George Lopez. I feel like George is the Lopez. Okay, that's that's enough of that. I feel <laughs> like if um I went over to his I, if no if he came over, and if I started making him tamales, he would be like, oh yeah, because uh, honestly, I have never made a tamale, but how hard could it be? Olivia, I know you're one fourth of a fourth, but this is feeling like a little bit racist. <laughs> You're just assuming he really likes tamales. Who doesn't like tamales? Do you like tamales? Me? Have you ever had one? No. Yeah. Right. See, the thing is, is that I used to like them. No, I used to love them. And then I had one that was really bad, That's... and I was a kid, so that ruined them for the rest of my life. I had that experience so. with chai tea, actually. Which, if you're yeah, an like like thing. Yeah, I don't because chai means tea. yeah, um, but I think GT. yeah, <laughs> thank you, Gigi, <laughs> Gigi, um, but I think that <laughs> I think that I could if I because okay, Mexicans love it when you cook things for them. So if I cooked something for George Lopez, I'm not being racist. I go to Walmart all the time, um. But <laughs> what the damn hell is that? <laughs> no, maybe you cut that part out. I'm gonna make a shorts compilation of unhinged things Olivia says <laughs> during the pasta podcast <laughs> while she knows she's being recorded. <laughs> <laughs> no, I love Mexicans. I love their food. I I appreciate their strife. I love the movie Blue Beetle, one of my favorite DC movies this year. <laughs> um, and George Lopez is great in great it. Great so far. Yeah. And uh-huh. George Lopez is really good in it. And I feel like we could share a truck full of tamales. I feel like we could. Do you have a truck to put the tamales? No, he'll in? provide the truck. I'll provide the tamales. <laughs> <laughs> You put it on the you put it on the pasta podcast um, <laughs> chef uh, cooking channel. Hi guys, today um, this episode is titled "White Girl Makes Tamales for the First Time." <laughs> How many are we making? Three thousand. <laughs> <laughs> Who are we making them for? George George Lopez. George Lopez. Jorge. Yeah. Do you think that's his actual name? Is Jorge Lopez? I don't know. Do you think Jesus' real name was Jesus? Wait. Alexander. Alexander. <laughs> Tennis ball. Surprise attack. No fly down. <laughs> what? I thought you were doing your I am. talk or whatever. I am. Uh, you what flavor with... do you need now? Do you want chips or something? No, no. I had the power of Patacone today. <laughs> 
<laughs> what was Jesus' real name? Uh, Yeshua. Yeshua? Yes, or sometimes referred to as Isa. Oh, okay. Yeshua. Not Jesus. Modern day Josh. So his name's Joshua, actually. Oh. Josh has risen. <laughs> he just. Pasta fam, that was Olivia's brother. Um, <laughs> welcome to the podcast and goodbye again. <laughs> he came into my room and threw a tennis ball in here. <laughs> I know because he said ball. tennis ball. <laughs> um. <laughs> tennis ball i choose you (laughs) um yeah so um, anyways (laughs) moving on what was your next thing um i i have run out of people that i think i have a chance with now i'm on to people that i wish i had a chance with (laughs) and there's only two people on it that's okay let's list them do you want me to say both of them or just one just one because i have a couple of people that i wish i have a chance with um first person i wish i had a chance with drew barrymore um we could be best friends i could be on your talk show you are literally the woman ever to exist the day you die i will kill anybody around me and then myself (laughs) um you are perfect i love you i will never stop loving you and um continue slaying until the day that you're slain have you ever seen screen that's all i have to say no, but I've seen like <laughs> every every other big thing that she that anybody's ever seen, she is in. She's she's still doing this stuff. I will be honest. The I last, the most recent before. thing. Well, the most recent thing that I've seen her in has been um, it was a show called Santa Clarita Diet, which is a show that takes place in California, so that's fun. Um, and I would not recommend it to you because it's got gore, but. It, she was great in it, and I loved her, and I still love her. And I wish that they renewed it for another season because they kind of left on a cliffhanger, and then they were like, "Ooh, sorry, we're bankrupt or something." Yeah, I always get ads for that on Netflix, and I see it, and I'm like, "Oh, I don't want to watch that." And they're like, "No, yes, you do," and I'm like, "No, I don't. Stop." Um, yeah, it's because I watched it on your account. <laughs> that makes sense. That makes sense. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, sorry. I watched the whole it's thing. Okay. The whole thing in one visit. That's how that's how avidly I was watching it. Um Yeah, Drew Barrymore. I don't I think you could have a chance there, honestly. Well, you're just saying that because she's really nice. She's a very nice lady. <laughs> okay. But yeah, she's she's been famous for too long. I don't think that I would ever have a chance. Mm. Yeah. All right. Do you want to hear my last one that I think I have a chance with? I don't want a chance with him, but after you... It would have been really funny if I had said no. (laughs) But after you said the Leonardo DiCaprio thing, um, I think I have a chance with Al Pacino because he loves younger women. (laughs) Um, I don't want a chance with him. (laughs) He's... (laughs) I don't want a chance with him. Al Pacino, please don't give Olivia a chance. (laughs) Um... He is he is okay looking in The Godfather, but he's not good looking. Um, I also have not did not pay attention to that movie, so I don't know how it goes. Um, but I don't like the guy now. He looks like an old slime ball, and he looks like he would touch people without their permission. Um, but I do think that he's easy to please. So okay. That's the end of my list. I guess we'll just I guess we'll just leave that one there. Yeah. Um the second person and last person on my list of wish people I wish I had a chance with is um I don't know how to say her last name actually. Um I'm going to try. Amanda Seyfried? Yeah, Seyfried. Seyfried? <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Um she the thing that I wrote after this I'm just going to read the paragraph in full. Please, you are so hot. I could be the reacher and you could be the settler. I would be the housewife and you could be the breadwinner. We could be so good together. And by that, I mean, I'm a lesbian and you are very hot. Also, you are a Sagittarius and I get along with them. Um, Did you write a poem for Amanda Seyfried? 
That's not a poem. That's just that was just like me That's brain dumping onto it about her. That's you wrote. A poem I know I'm a poet. See, I was Olivia, as I've once said, I was born to write. <laughs> um. No, that was just a brain dump. I was just like poem. I think it was because because I wrote um I could be the reacher and you could be the settler and I was like. I don't know if that was something that was made up by How I Met Your Mother or not, so I don't know if Olivia's going to understand. So I wrote, um, I would be the housewife and you would be the breadwinner. So that <laughs> you would get that that's like the same thing. Um, no, yeah. she. Anyways. Oh, I think yeah. I wish I, w- I would too. She is great in Mean Girls and she is great in Les Miserables. Um, yeah. And Mamma Mia is what I say when I see her on screen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, should I lightning round my actors I wish I had a chance with? Yes. Okay. Um, <laughs> Shah Rukh Khan, Ranveer Singh, Ram Sharan, Anushka Sharma, Robert Pattinson. <laughs> I like how that's like... I like how that's like Bollywood actor, Bollywood actor, Bollywood actor, Bollywood actor, and then just white boy. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I do want to add that, okay, Robert Pattinson, not a very attractive guy, um, but he does have this charisma about him where he he is like, he takes nothing seriously. And I just, I love him. Um, so yeah, I think that I could have a chance. I No, I don't think I have a chance with him, but I sure wish I did. Um, He's a beautiful man in his own way. Um, also, Shah Rukh Khan, not conventionally attractive to some people. Not to me. I think he's very beautiful. But um, he does have a charisma about him. And that's, yeah, he's he's the best. And I love him. And he has a song that says, I'm the best. I'm the best. I'm the best. And he's right. <laughs> they wrote that actually about him not for a movie or anything <laughs> they just wrote that based off of Shah Rukh Khan they knew what they were doing when they made him sing it well lip sync it um, but yeah do you have anything else to, that you want to add Gigi um Jenna Coleman please give me a chance <laughs> <laughs> I think this is the part of the uh, episode where we start begging, so <laughs> that's that's my begging. Um, I also do want to address. I know that I said my name at the beginning as Duolingo Master. Um, I am on my thirty-eight day streak. That's nothing compared to the Duolingo um, Maestro of Gigi, who has a streak of like one hundred and thirty days or something. Um, yeah, <laughs> but I do. I do enjoy Duolingo, and the reason that my name is changed every time is because whenever I sign in, it or whenever I log into the podcast thing that we use, it just makes me sign in every time, so I've just been, like, picking different names. <laughs> um, yeah, they just hate Olivia for some reason. They just don't like me, but I take them back. I changed my nickname. I don't know if you could see that. Gigi. But... <laughs> I'm gonna have to bleep that. I'm only saying that because I know I'm gonna forget and I'm gonna be like, oh shit. Um <laughs> No, but um I think I changed it to Tiggled Biddies. Cause I don't have big old titties, but I do have tiggled biddies. <laughs> yeah, I'll give you a piggle if you tiggle you. <laughs> Okay. Well how about we stop there? Um I think that would be a good place to end. <laughs> okay. Um Take me out, Olivia. Okay. Uh, thanks for joining us, Pasta Fam. Uh, thanks for listening to your Pasta Chefs. We hope to see you next week. We love you. We miss you. We hope you have a good night. We hope you eat you eat lots of good pasta. Yeah, stay hungry, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>